if you're in the healthy, normal range for a man, you will not have an increase in aggression or sex drive by mm. increasing your testosterone, nor can you predict anyone's like physical aggression or sex drive from uh, individual differences in testosterone level. Like when I'm teaching, I'd always say to my students, like I, I couldn't, you know, if I knew everybody's testosterone level in this room, it wouldn't really, unless it was super low or super high, you know, I really couldn't tell that much more about them. It doesn't give you a lot of information, right? but if you go from pretty low to even normal or high end of normal, yeah, you're going to, ha- you're going to, um, experience, you should experience some sort of a change there. So, which brings me to women who of course have very many women have very healthy, str- I shouldn't say healthy, um, have very strong sex drives. Um, some women masturbate every day. However, men, this is a, a very robust finding and it's not going to be a surprise to anyone. Men masturbate way, way more um, than women do. They think about sex way more than women do. They want more sexual partners than women do. They uh, And one of the really interesting changes that happens on average, and there's a lot of variation in experience here, but trans men, which are um, females who transition with uh, either, you know, with or without hormones, but if they transition with hormones, that means that someone who grew up um, as a girl and um, then went through, say, female puberty, if they then wanted to transi- transition to living as a man, they would take male typical levels of testosterone. Mm. So for um, adult females, this can be really overpowering because while, again, women have can have very strong sex drives, they once they go on a male level of testosterone, they then uh, many report that the experience is something they couldn't even have imagined mm. how obsessed with sex they become. And of course, this is very intense at first because it's like when you first are in when you're in adolescence and your sex drive starts going up for a lot of young men, that is an overwhelming experience because you're not really sure how to deal with it. Maybe you don't know how to talk to women. You're afraid of your own desires and, um, or you're just like masturbating all over the place. So for women who are, I'll just say if, if they're tr- going to transition, I'll, I'll just call them females. Um, they say that they went from, you know, what was a normal set, what they thought was a normal sex drive to just thinking about sex all the time, wanting sex all the time and, and fantasizing about male body parts or female body parts, if they're attracted to females. Um, and the, they, the relationship, the sexual relationship became less about the human, um, interaction and more about the body, which I thought was very interesting. And this is also interesting because for, for females who, resented male sexual interest in them, like men staring at their breasts or whatever, these trans men started doing that and behaving in ways that they had previously thought were just guys being jerks. This is part of what has given me a lot more empathy for men because it's so clear that the hormone is incredibly powerful and and that women don't understand they ju- typically judge which is understand that part is understandable if you're on the receiving end of it or if you've been you know sexually harassed or even sexually assaulted so that's understandable so also males who then transition to living as females describe the opposite and that their sex drive really plummets but they they enjoy se- they say a lot of the time they enjoy sex more they have better orgasms so uh, they have longer lasting, more full body orgasms off of testosterone and on estrogen. Mm. And the uh, on testosterone orgasm is often described as shorter, uh, more intense at the peak and more focused on the genitals. So 
yeah, there's really dramatic and interesting changes that occur before the body changes. And that's important because this is not just about physical changes to the um, to appearance that make people feel more comfortable sexually. This seems to be uh, behavioral effects um, in the brain, essentially. And there's also obviously effects um, on the in the genitals that can change the way sex feels. 